Hi, this is Thomas, your speed reading coach. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should read one book in one sitting and how to do it as well. So firstly, why is that necessary? Why is that helpful? Well, if you read a book in a single time, if you just sit down with a book for an hour or two and you go through all of it and you read it all, why is that useful? Well, firstly, most people do not read a book past the first chapter. Actually, 93% of people, the statistics say, don't read a book past the first chapter. Uh, and probably many people do not even open the books that they get. How, however, if you read the book in one sitting, uh, our brains like to know everything at once about a single topic, about a single thing. So if you uh, start the book and finish the book in one single time, uh, it's simply way more interesting for you. You do not lose the interest. You do not lose the motivation to read. And it's way more also kind of rewarding. You feel very good. You just take a book, you know, let's just say about body language. You read the book and then oh, you kind of feel like you already have learned something. Like, or you kind of feel like you've learned everything about something. So you feel like you master one area. You feel like you get all of it. For instance, if you're learning words, if you're learning a new language, and you also learn uh, all the words about a single topic. So for instance, you learn all the words about animals, all the words about the kitchen, all the words about food, and then learning in those single topics is way more engaging for you, engaging for your brain, and also you will remember it better. So now, uh, as I've explained to you why it helps, why it's helpful to actually learn by reading uh, the book in one time, why well, that's the most efficient way to do, let me tell you how can you actually do that. Well, firstly, there's uh, a couple of things you should be aware of. Number one is timing, and number two is what's the most important, what's the most key out of the material. So, considering timing, always before you read, set a timer uh, and set it for 60 to 90 minutes. If you like, in between, you can make a short break, you know, have some water, maybe do some stretching for like five minutes or so, and then immediately return to reading, immediately return to the book. So that's one thing. And let's just say you set it for 60 minutes and the book is 180 pages. Let's just say that's a novel. Well, then it's pretty much clear for you that you want to be reading one page in half a minute. Or uh, if that's not a novel, let's just say that's a self-development book, in which case you may be skipping certain parts of the book. Uh, in this case, then you want to simply calculate more or less if the book is 200 pages uh, and you have 60 minutes, then you have about 20 minutes for you know, 60, 70 pages. Uh, and just knowing it, you, you know there's these three parts in which you're going to read. Knowing that there's these three parts, you can uh, track successfully. All right, so I have 40 minutes left. Do I have mm, 140 pages left, 130 pages? If so, then good. Keep going at the same speed. If you see that you're a bit too slow, then simply speed it up a little bit. And now to go a little bit more practical, what do you actually do and how do you actually attain this? How do you achieve this? Well, uh, there's two things that I've briefly touched upon just now, and these are skipping and skimming. So you want to skip the parts of the book, the places of the book that are not interesting, not relevant, not valuable, not actu actionable, not applicable to you. So those parts of the book you want to skip. Now, the next parts of the book are going to be the ones where... Uh, you simply want to skim. So perhaps you already kind of know it, but uh, you're still going to skim through it quite quickly just to kind of make sure that it's exactly what you think it is. And maybe to remind yourself briefly of the topic of the subject of the, um, of the thing that you're reading there. So uh, skipping and skimming sets the timer. If it's not as interesting, valuable, applicable, new as 
uh, you want it to be, simply skip and skim the book. Uh, make sure that the time is right and keep checking upon yourself uh, with the time you set, how you're doing, and you're going to read the book in one sitting. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how you can read books faster and to talk about the coaching that I give, which is the firm reading coaching program where I, uh, I'm with you basically every step of the way to your learning so you don't have to uh, find videos online about, about how to learn to read faster, well, simply sign up here and I'll contact you as soon as possible for a free consultation and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.